morning. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? It is a beautiful morning. Quiet. I'm coming at you from downtown Naperville. I'm going to see if I can find a spot to set up and talk to you for a while. Try it right here. Might be a good opportunity to share some of my beautiful town with you. I talk about it a lot. It's kind of quiet right now. But again, I think this is one of the coolest uh, downtown areas in all of uh, suburb of Chicagoland. And I'm at the center of it. I'm at the uh, center, uh, I'm at Jefferson and Main Street. It is just about six o'clock. Hey, look at the clock behind me. For some reason that reminds me of Back to the Future. <laughs> Does it remind you of Back to the Future? But anyway, at six o'clock, it is uh, Friday morning. It is June 2nd. And I'm gonna try and find a comfy spot to get set up. Maybe I can do it right here. Bear with me. Bear with me. Hold on, what's, what happens if I do this? What happens if I do this? How's that looking? It's not looking very good. <laughs> That's not very looking very good. I gotta get a good angle. This looks kind of good if I hold it. I don't wanna hold it, I'll get tired. But anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy and uh, this is Coffee with Ken. It is Friday morning. It is June 2nd. That's kind of cool. That's kind of fun. Uh, it's Friday morning. It is June 2nd. It is about 6.02 o'clock. I am coming at you from Naperville, Illinois, which is a uh, town of about 145,000 people, about 35 miles west of Chicago. It is a town that wins awards. It's a town that often is, I don't know, nationally ranked at least. The publications around here say it always is winning various awards. But a really nice town with a great downtown, a uh, bunch of cool stores, bunch of an awesome Starbucks, bunch of bars and restaurants that are looking for people that are like bars and restaurants. Hello, Emily. And uh, 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 just a really cool place. And. Uh, Again, this is Coffee with Ken. This is a show I've been doing for quite some time. It is a show about me talking and sharing some of life experiences, kind of the ups and downs we have. And because uh, uh, life can be a roller coaster, life can be fun, life can be interesting. Uh, and it certainly is. And we can all, we all get our challenges or have our challenges and all face our demons and our stressors and no matter how good some or happy or whatever out exterior somebody looks, uh, I've learned over the last few years that they're uh, uh, they have some challenges as well because we all do. And the more I str look into my own, and the more I do this show, and the more I'm open and honest, uh, uh, the more people I think are in kind to me and uh, share some of the stuff they're dealing with. That with blah. But anyway, anyway, for those that are watching, I bet you guys missed my mug, that have been watching a while, you know it's not just a show about me talking, even though, again, I am in beautiful downtown Naperville. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's like a ghost town. Reminds me, I won't tell you what it reminds me of, but it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got a nice, I think it's fairly hot. I uh, ordered it about five or ten minutes ago. Hopefully it's fairly hot. But it's a cup of the uh, dark roast coffee uh, by Starbucks with a little bit of cream. And I'm very excited to take my first sip at this early hour. Hey, nice job. Running is very hard. <laughs> a woman. How far did you go? And it doesn't matter. Two miles is still great. That's two miles more than me. Yeah, I just have to go to the office early, so. Okay, well, nice job. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm excited to take my first sip. Uh, and I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got some coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Mm. 
Oh. Somebody asked if I'm sitting crisscross applesauce in a parking lot. By the way, that's just the cutest little thing. And it reminds me of my daughters that when they were little and I mean, they're still super sweet, but they're just not little anymore. So I think, I mean, I'm, I was probably super sweet at one point in my life, but now that I'm 54, I'm uh, probably not super sweet and they're losing their super sweetness as they get into their later teen years. Uh, but they would say things like crisscross applesauce and it made me think, uh, uh, just sweet times and sweet memories and cute things and sitting cuddly cozy on the couch. My daughter's friends sometimes watch and when they were little, I'd always want to, I got divorced when they were fairly, I don't know how old they were, maybe eight and five ish or something like that. Uh, yeah, just about that or maybe uh, seven and four, uh, too early. And uh, they'd come over and we'd get movies at the local library down the street. We'd get American Girl movies and Disney movies. And they'd each pick out like three. And we'd watch them all weekend. And we'd get cuddly cozy on the couch. And uh, those were some, I have some of the most fond memories of those times. And obviously as the kids get older, they're less interested in getting cuddly cozy with their dad on the couch and watching uh, princess movies or American Girl movies, and uh, it kind of makes me teary-eyed. It makes me sad uh, just thinking about it. Not sad. Time passes, you know. We can't stop it, but time passes. Uh, but again, makes me long for those uh, uh, times. And I think if you have little ones out there, I, I you know, everyone says, hey, appreciate it while they're young. And you got to. You got to appreciate life. Uh, it's not just the kids. Uh, it's everything. You know, because time goes pretty quickly. And uh, good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Something happened. Did your dog have surgery or something? No, oh, she got bit at the dog park. Oh, well, that's no fun. Is she doing okay with that, uh, that whoopsie, <laughs> with that uh, whatever it's called? Yeah, she's doing all right. I had a dog once with one of those. Didn't like it at all. She hates it. Yeah. Enjoy. What's that called? The cone. I had a dog that was really uncomfortable with it. I think it was a Doberman, and she might have needed surgery or something. Oh, no, no, it was my lab. And hated it, hated it. He was like a bull in the china shop, and he had one of these cones on his head, and any time he'd move, he'd hit something. And uh, it'd be like your own little prison you're with. I don't know. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, getting cuddly cozy on the couch. I was fortunate uh, to get married again, and I have two little babies, two little beautiful kids, uh, Augie and Eve, and uh, my son Augie's uh, two years old, and uh, he's a lover, he's a hugger. Good morning, ladies. I didn't even say good morning back. Maybe they're hard of hearing. But... Uh, and he's my little angel, and he's my uh, uh, little reason. Uh, I used to work at a real estate company, and they said, hey, you need to know your big why, like why you do anything. And I used to kind of make up one and go, well, I don't know if it's a big why, uh, but it's the, <laughs> the only thing I could make up. If I have a big why right now, it's my little angel son, Augie, uh, who's the love of my life and the... You know, his smile makes my heart sing, and uh, he's my little guy, and uh, he's my big why, so, I don't know, it's Friday morning, I don't know how much I have for you, I'm going to drink some more coffee, somebody asked, how much coffee do I drink a day? If I could, I'd drink a lot more, uh, I am working at a super target, and have been for just about four months to the day, and it's a job, it's kind of an entry level position. Uh, a lot of inventory management, a lot of customer service, a lot of shelf stocking, uh, and doing whatever else the store needs. But with all that activity, there's not a heck of a lot of time to drink coffee. For anyone with a job that it requires like time in car or desk where you can sit there with coffee and water, say be grateful for it because, I don't know, <laughs> working at my super target, I can't carry around a coffee and drink it all day. I got too much work to do. Uh, and over the last, uh, I don't know, four or five months, I've realized that work's not always just sending emails. I guess that is a form of work. 
uh, but not as aggressive formal work as I've been doing over the last four months. And when you're doing a more aggressive form of work, uh, you know, you don't have time. You, your hands are working. Your hands are busy. And uh, you can't just sit there sipping your coffee, uh, flipping through uh, social media or whatever people do these days in office jobs. Again, I was a realtor for 17 years, and I so looked at social media as an integral part of what I did uh, because so much of being a realtor is being social and being in front of humans because, strangely enough, humans live in homes and uh, everybody you met was a potential customer, a potential home buyer, home seller. So the more you were out and about and being, uh, I don't know, big man on campus or the mayor of Naperville or what have you, uh, the more exposure you got and you'd hope some of it had trickled to your business. How long have I been transitioning? I don't know what you mean by transitioning. I don't know what you mean by transitioning. I have a feeling that's an attempt at an insult, but I'm not sure. Uh, transitioning from real estate to a uh, worker at Super Target, it's been four months or five months, actually since the beginning of the year, really. Uh, it feels good. I got to. I get to. I get to go to work in a whatever, a little bit over an hour. Uh, starting work at eight o'clock today. Looking forward to it because it's a it's kind of simpler life. Uh, I mean, not an easy life by any stretch, but at least I know what I need to do every day. And when I was working as a realtor, sometimes those days were hard, and you'd figure you have to. If you weren't in front of the client or the customer. Uh, you had to get in front of one because you don't get paid a salary, you don't get paid any benefits, and you have lots of expenses inherent with running a business or any business, really. And if you weren't in front of a customer, those were the uh, dollar-producing activities, buying, you know, working with buy, home buyers and home sellers. Um, so you had to try and find a way to get in front of the customer, and that could be challenging. Um, but uh, it's a little simpler now. I mean, a lot less lucrative, I'll promise you. But a little simpler time uh, where, uh, you know, I go in, I do my time, I do my work. I know what I need, know roughly what needs done, and I give it my effort. It almost feels like you're selling your, you are kind of selling your time for to a company, and they own you during that period. <laughs> uh, and I guess that's maybe what a typical job is. Uh I don't know if I meant for a typical job. I got to figure out what I meant for because I got a lot of work to do. But uh, uh, I think it's important not to look uh, too far ahead. And uh, I uh, found myself doing it last night and struggling with some things and worrying about some things and going, crap, how am I going to get this done? Or crap, what am I going to do with this? Aiden! You went with red today! Yeah, Aiden colors his hair. He's a Starbucks employee I've known for a little while. He's had blue hair for a while. <laughs> he came in bright red or almost hot pink. Did I? Whatever. I don't have any hair. I'm not one to mock. But uh, anyway, it's so easy to get looking forward and get worried about things and feeling down. And I think, again, I've struggled with some stuff and mental stuff and anxiety and depression a lot of periods during my life. And I think I used to let it run wild and just let my thoughts kind of control who I was. Now at least I'm getting better at catching myself and going, okay, I'm feeling kind of bummed tonight or I'm feeling kind of anxious or I'm feeling kind of worried. Uh, maybe it's just okay with feeling bummed or maybe it's okay just, I think it's important to acknowledge it and to realize it's happening and going, okay, I've been bummed before, this happens and then I feel better when I wake up in the morning or I go for a run or go for a walk or watch a movie or whatever uh, and that passes and uh, also letting go of control uh, I couldn't fix things last night but a lot of times I go okay I'm going to sit down I got my computer I'm going to do these emails or I'm going to do this or get online and search this or go talk to them or make this call and no matter what you do, it doesn't necessarily fix anything. Uh, sometimes it sends you in the wrong direction. 
Uh, but just letting go of that control, I think, has been important to me. Uh, hey, congratulations to Captain, Captain Kenny. Letting go of control and letting go, and as I've said before, letting God. And uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of going with the flow. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm going with the flow. Sometimes the flow takes you down uh, challenging uh, uh, paths, uh, but I think those paths are meant to be explored. And I think I, uh, uh, I know I'm on the right path. I think I was on the wrong path for so many years. But we are where we're supposed to be. And I was a realtor for 17 years for some reason. It's interesting. I was just talking to a young lady in there uh, who's looking for a home. And I told her, I mean, she knows me a little bit. She's worked with me or whatever. She's a Starbucks employee. And I to she asked why I left real estate. And it's kind of a complicated answer. Uh, kind of a complicated answer. But I think at the core is... I just didn't like it enough to be as successful as I want to be at something. And I didn't believe in the industry or believe in myself as a realtor or uh, uh, what have you enough to knock the cover off the ball. And I want to enjoy what I'm doing. And again, as I said at the beginning, time goes pretty fast. And I'm 54 years old. I was just talking to a guy in Starbucks who uh, uh, had a license plate with my uh, – alma mater. I went to University of Illinois and so did he. And uh, we got to talking and he was talking about going down to the campus and how different it was. And I go, yeah, it's changed so much. But then I thought about it. I go, you know, crap, that was 35 years ago. I can't blame University of Illinois, you know, or a town for changing over 35 years. You know, I've changed. I had hair. <laughs> and I'm sure this dude's changed a lot, too. And uh, it's just amazing how quickly time goes and how, uh, again, I was thinking about cuddling with my little daughters uh, on the couch watching princess movies. And now uh, one's going on college visits and the other one's going into high school. And, you know, I got two little babies that I love uh, with all my heart. And uh, I'm fortunate to be able to experience a lot of those feelings and those emotions and those times again. Uh, but they're going to, you know, they're going to be bigger. They're going to be bigger uh, uh, pretty darn quick. And uh, you can't stop time or you can't pause time. Uh, but all you can do is appreciate time and appreciate the moment. The best way to do that is by being in the moment and not worrying about what you're going to do next month or next year or 10 years from now necessarily or worrying about the past and going, crap, I wish things were different or I wish this was different or what have you. Uh, but it's enjoying this cup of coffee. It's enjoying my, the cool temperature, the quiet, this that is downtown Naperville. that's going to be bustling in a few hours and, uh, enjoying the sunrise, enjoying the, uh, hour and a half relative of peace and quiet. I get to experience at my Starbucks this morning. And uh, doing the best I can to enjoy uh, my day of work. And I'm going to do all that. And I'm looking forward to my day. Looking forward to drinking some coffee. Looking forward to getting some breakfast in me because I'm kind of hungry. Recently moved and don't have uh, everything set up. That's why I'm having my coffee at Starbucks. And yesterday I was at McDonald's. I don't feel like eating at McDonald's again today. Dunkin' Midnight, is that a type of coffee? Somebody said Dunkin' Midnight is better than Starbucks. Uh, if that's a type of coffee, it could be. Uh, Dunkin' Coffee is very good, uh, but the scene's just not nearly as good. Starbucks is something special about Starbucks, and the atmosphere when people are walking into a Starbucks uh, is special. And again, it's kind of like a bar, but without the alcohol. And I said... Uh, I've said a few times, I'm reading a book, How Starbucks Saved My Life. And again, it's about a guy that's a little down on his luck that was on top of the world, uh, but fell on hard times and took a job as a barista making minimum wage and uh, how his life was transformed and how he, despite him being, you know, super, su uber successful in a previous life, never was really happy. And he realized for the first time uh, where I'm at in the book that he was truly happy. 
and he was living in a small apartment and he was working at Starbucks in a uh, area he wasn't that familiar with in New York City, but he was finding joy and finding purpose uh, through his job and through the connections he made and through coffee beans and uh, uh, just feeling good at something. And then a lot of that kind of relates to me. Uh, I used to, you know, do pretty well. And now I'm kind of starting over at 54. Got a big truck coming down the road. Hello, big truck. It's got pictures of cantaloupe on the side. Yet fresh produce. Fresh is everything. I don't know if I've ever seen a cantaloupe on the side of a truck. Have the seeds in it. I like cantaloupe. I like watermelon. I like the uh, honeydew melon. I don't really care too much for pineapple. If I'm at, thank you so much for following the live creator. If I'm at, uh, you know, one of those, I don't know, what are they called, brunches or whatever, and I got a big tray of fruit, I'll usually grab a piece, couple pieces of cantaloupe, but usually a couple pieces of honeydew melon and usually a couple pieces of uh, watermelon, and I'll just totally ignore the pineapple. It's not my thing. It's amazing how different people are. Uh, again, I work at a super target. People come through my aisle and some people I'll chat it up with and <laughs> some people I got to almost get away from because I got work to do. Uh, but I so enjoy engaging with people and so enjoy talking to people and a lot of most people do, but there's some people that it's just not their thing and they'd rather not acknowledge you and not saying it's wrong. It's just so different and not and just kind of go through their day and be focused on what they're doing and getting their task at hand. Thank you, Belinda. Greetings to you. And uh, uh, just prefer to be more into their own thing or doing their own thing. And, and that's OK. Uh, but I used to get uptight about it and be offended and think they're rude and care. <laughs> and uh, I'm learning to let that go and just realize that people are different. There's some people that like pineapple and then there's me that likes cantaloupe. And uh, some people that see the grass is blue and the sky is green and <laughs> I do not. And uh, uh, just accepting the differences that are in people has helped me a lot. Good morning from Omaha, Patty Ann. Thank you all for watching. We're getting a nice turnout. I wonder if it's the time. I wonder if it's the setting. Again, I'm coming at you. I'll do one more spin because it's so fun to do a spin. From Naperville, Illinois, I'm at the center of a really nice downtown. Check me out over here. Check me out. Cool mural. <laughs> What's that called? I forget what that's called. I remember doing it in class. We'd break up eggshells. We'd paint eggs and we'd break up shells and we'd stick it on uh, glue or on a piece of paper or cardboard or what have you. Uh, I don't know what it is called, but it's uh, kind of pretty. Mosaic. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Got a mosaic behind me. I don't think they use eggshells, but the, uh, <laughs> the principle for uh, uh, doing... Uh, uh, it is the same, I assume. A lot of pretty little pieces of art down here in Naperville. Uh, various places. Never been able to do the show from here. I do it up by the Riverwalk a fair amount. And uh, uh, Riverwalk is uh, Naperville's fortune. And I love river towns. And usually when I say a river town, I'm thinking a bigger river than uh, what we have going through Naperville. Naperville has the west branch of the DuPage River going through the center of it. And back in the early 80s, uh, they did a lot of fundraising and put together what's called the Riverwalk. And it's uh, probably a mile and a half, two mile stretch of Naperville right through the downtown that's paved with bricks. And it's along the beautiful west branch of the DuPage River. The river itself's not too big. It's, I don't know, maybe... 30, 40, 30 feet across, maybe 40 feet across, something like that. I don't know. Uh, but it's pretty, and you can fish in it, and people kayak down it, and uh, uh, there's areas of it through the forest and through the woods that are just beautiful, and it makes our town kind of special and stand out. 
again, I love river towns. We've got some beautiful river towns in the area. Uh, Batavia, Geneva, St. Charles are along the Fox River. And that's a more serious river, a big river with... Uh, uh, somebody asked if they've modeled it after the Austin, Texas River Walk. Isn't it the San Antonio River Walk? Does Austin, is it, I think the River Walk's in San Antonio. I could be wrong. Maybe Austin has one as well. Uh, yeah, nature is amazing. Hey, good morning from Arlington Heights. I so appreciate you guys for joining me on a Friday morning, uh, watching people walk their dogs by, uh, some early risers going in and getting some coffee. Got a few cars coming by, but it's still really quiet, really peaceful. It's amazing. There's so few birds, or not so few birds, so few trees. But I still hear a ton of birds chirping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess one bird can make a lot of chirps. But it's pretty, and it's peaceful. Wouldn't be a bad idea to start my day uh, uh, here every morning. Uh, it feels nice. It feels good waking up early. It feels good going to bed early. Hey, Ian. And uh, uh, over the last several months since I've been uh, doing my new job, I do go to bed so much earlier. And I sleep better. And I, uh, I'm i sure some of it's the job. I know a lot of it's from not drinking alcohol or smoking any pot, which I used to do every day. <laughs> but uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's getting older. You know, last night it was about 9 o'clock, and I was going, oh, I'm tired. And I uh, laid down and uh, uh, had these thoughts and had these plans, and they all kind of went to the wayside and just felt so relaxed and woke up a few hours later going, huh, wow, that felt pretty good. And uh, uh, I think it's important to notice those things. And I think so much of my life was spent drinking and smoking, uh, you didn't notice you were looking for the next high. Good morning. And uh, I don't know. When you're always looking for the next high, that's a bad way to be. When am I going to crack my next Heineken or when I'm going to smoke pot next? Or, uh, you know, I used to smoke cigarettes for a little bit or when I'm going to have my next cigarette or used to chew tobacco from, I mean, for several years. And I was thinking, when can I put in another pinch? Ugh. Uh, it's better slowing everything down and, uh, feeling a little good morning, Robert, slowing everything down and not looking for that next tie or whatever and enjoying the moment, enjoying the birds chirping, uh, enjoying the light changing along the buildings and, uh, noticing the people running and walking by and the, uh, I don't know, the, the goodness that is all around us. So uh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Speaking of goodness, uh, I'm going to go back and sit in my nice soft chair and dig into my book, how uh, uh, Starbucks saved my life a little bit more, maybe get a refill on coffee and uh, uh, enjoy the morning and enjoy my Friday and enjoy my day of work. And enjoy my weekend and hopefully get a lot done, but uh, 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 enjoy whatever it is that I'm doing. And I hope uh, you do as well. I hope you uh, had a wonderful night's sleep. I hope your week's going real well. I uh, want to thank you guys so much for joining. It means a ton that you guys hop on and watch my lives. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate you. And again, I hope you have a had a wonderful night's sleep. I hope you're excited about your day. I hope you're feeling good. One more sip of coffee. I hope um, you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.